Hello dear fans. How DNA was discovered. Man has always asked questions about life and what he is. A huge number of scientists tried to answer, but the secret about living organisms was never solved. Even today, molecular biology is one of the most relevant sciences in all countries of the world. The Theory of Evolution of Living Organisms Charles Darwin, the developer of the theory of the evolution of living organisms, still could not give an answer to the question of how the changes in the structure and functions of the offspring organism are consolidated. Darwin's book was published when Gregor Mendel was already setting up new experiments in the Czech Republic, the conclusions of which became the beginning of the further development of the science of heredity. In Germany, at the same time, the zoologist August Weismann worked, who was able to prove that some inherited properties of parents directly depend on the possibility of the first transfer of a certain substance. According to Weismann, this substance was hidden in the chromosomes. American scientist Thomas Morgan also set up a huge number of experiments. He and his colleagues formalized the basic postulates of the theory of chromosomal heredity. How DNA was discovered Biochemist Mischer in 1869 isolated a substance that has the properties of a certain acid. Then a chemical scientist named Levin was able to prove that the isolated acid contains deoxyribose. It is this fact that gave the name to the DNA molecule, deoxyribonucleic acid. Levin also identified four nitrogenous bases that formed the composition of the molecule. In 1950, biochemist Chargaff supplemented Levin's conclusions when he received test results that showed that in a DNA molecule with four bases, two of them were equal in number to the other two. DNA Structure In 1953, Scientists from Cambridge, Watson, and Crick announced that they had discovered the structure of DNA. They found that this DNA molecule is a helix, which consists of two chains that have a phosphate sugar base. Was determined the sequence of the nitrogenous base. It was she who was the so-called code for the transfer of genetic information. In 1953, scientists published an article called The Molecular Structure of Nucleic Acids. This article presents the results of studies that have shown that DNA is indeed a double helix. The discovery of this level was recognized by scientists all over the world and became the starting point for further research. In 1962, Watson and Crick received the Nobel Prize for their research. Thanks for watching.